Maverick's riveting story of people who have changed the world. Targeting success. The inspirational journey of George Dayton and the rise of Target Corporation. Summary. Journey through the riveting tale of George Dayton, who morphed a modest dry goods store into Target, America's second-largest department store retailer with over 1,948 stores nationwide. Dayton's legacy, which started in the quiet town of Clifton Springs, New York, evolved into a $109 billion retail giant, transforming the shopping landscape and touching the lives of millions of customers. It's a testament to the power of perseverance, innovation, and bold leadership, striking a chord with the entrepreneurial spirit fostered at Global Elites Network. Step into Dayton's shoes, feel his relentless drive, and discover how one man's vision became a beacon of inspiration for young minds to dream, innovate, and shape a prosperous future. Presented by Global Elites Network at non.school. Global Elites Network, pioneering future leaders through innovative education. Once upon a time, in the humble town of Clifton Springs, New York, a boy named George Draper Dayton was born on March 6, 1857. Little did anyone know that this boy, with his twinkling eyes and inquisitive nature, would grow up to transform the world of retail and establish a legacy that would touch countless lives in ways unimaginable. Growing up, George was a curious and ambitious child, always eager to learn new things. He demonstrated an innate sense of entrepreneurship, even in his youth. Whether it was selling lemonade in summer or shoveling snow in winter, young George understood the importance of hard work and the value of a dollar earned. Despite the simplicity of his childhood, Dayton was a dreamer. He aspired to build something that could serve people, offer them value, and ultimately, create an impact on society. In 1883, seeking better opportunities, Dayton moved to Minneapolis, a city he found to be brimming with potential. He started his career in real estate, establishing the Dayton Real Estate Company, which was known for its honesty and integrity. The real breakthrough came in 1902 when Dayton saw an opportunity to provide the community with an extraordinary shopping experience. He bought Goodfellows, a failing dry goods store, and renamed it Dayton's Dry Goods Company, which was later shortened to Dayton's. This store laid the foundation of what we now know as Target. Dayton's vision was clear. He wanted to offer a unique shopping experience that balanced quality, service, and value. This ethos echoed throughout the operation of Dayton's, eventually becoming the cornerstone of Target, the company's innovative mass-market retail concept. In the 1960s, as Dayton's was exploring expansion opportunities, the company took a bold step. They ventured into the discount store market, introducing Target in 1962. It was a risky move given the prevailing retail landscape, yet they believed in their vision of catering to budget-friendly shoppers seeking a higher quality experience. Target was not just another retail store. It was a manifestation of Dayton's values, an establishment that prioritized customer satisfaction, quality, and community. The company's decision to venture into discount retailing eventually led to the evolution of Dayton's from a family-run business to one of America's leading nationwide big-box chains. It was a story of how a single, powerful idea, mixed with perseverance and innovative thinking, could create ripples of change. Innovation has always been at the heart of Target. In 1988, it became the first major retailer to introduce UPC barcode scanning in all of their stores and distribution centers. Paving the way for improved inventory management, increased automation, and reduced wait times at checkout. It was just another testament to Target's commitment to utilizing technology to enhance the customer experience. By 1999, the company launched Target.com, taking a major leap into the digital shopping landscape, and in the process, making shopping more convenient for its guests. Despite its tremendous growth and transformation, Target has never strayed from its commitment to serving the community. Since 1946, the company has dedicated 5% of its income to supporting local communities, impacting education, arts, social services, and volunteerism. The company's philanthropic initiatives have brought about significant positive changes in the communities they serve. With the turn of the millennium, Target Corporation was born, a name change that reflected the company's focus on its core business. As of 2023, Target has grown astronomically, operating 1,948 stores throughout the United States, with its corporate head firmly on the Fortune 500 list. The company's smart strategies during the COVID-19 pandemic, including turning every megastore into a distribution center, has resulted in a surge in market cap, reaching a staggering $60 billion. But the story doesn't end there. The spirit of Target, originally seeded by its founder George Dayton, continues to guide the company. The company's growth has always been intertwined with innovation, adaptability, 
and an unwavering dedication to its customers and community. To many, Target's journey is a testament to the power of vision, determination, and resilience. It's an inspiration for young minds, a narrative that champions innovation, fosters entrepreneurship, and encourages leadership. For the kids associated with Global Elites Network, the story of George Dayton and Target is an example of how the right mindset and values can turn dreams into reality. The story of Target is an important lesson for the leaders of tomorrow. It teaches them about the importance of innovation in business, the impact of ethical decision-making, the value of customer centricity, and the significance of community involvement. It serves as a reminder that businesses can, and should, serve a greater purpose. With every passing year, Target continues to evolve, innovate, and expand, shaping the future of retail in ways many could only dream of. The story of its journey underscores the potential that lies within all of us to envision, create, and lead change. And as Target propels forward, it continues to inspire, reminding us that our ambitions are only as limited as our imaginations. As we stand here today, we can look back at the legacy of George Dayton with admiration and respect. His vision and determination gave birth to a company that has not only served as a commercial success story but has also made a significant contribution to society. His life, his achievements, his ethos continue to be an inspiration for millions, teaching the next generation of leaders and innovators that with hard work, vision, and a commitment to serving others, the sky truly is the limit. Indeed, Dayton's tale is not just a story of remarkable success, it is an ageless saga of perseverance, innovation, and transformation. This legacy provides a compass for youngsters, encouraging them to think creatively, harness their leadership potential, and foster a spirit of entrepreneurship. Young George, who once walked the streets of Clifton Springs, New York, could never have imagined that his relentless drive and commitment to serving his community would result in one of the most loved retail chains in the world. However, he never lost sight of his vision and tirelessly worked to make it a reality. In 1960, when the Dayton Company decided to take the audacious step of developing a mass-market discount store, there were many who doubted their ambitious venture. However, their forward-thinking decision, driven by the courage to challenge the status quo and the willingness to serve the needs of budget-friendly shoppers, paved the way for the transformation of Dayton's into the retail powerhouse that Target is today. After months of contemplation and brainstorming, the name, Target, was chosen, envisioned with a classic bullseye logo. This choice symbolized the company's commitment to hit the mark in terms of quality, value, and overall customer experience. Their approach set a new standard in the retail industry, distinguishing them from their competitors. The year 1962 marked the opening of the first Target store in Roseville, Minnesota, and it was a day etched in the annals of retail history. Customers were thrilled by this new shopping experience that balanced affordability with quality and service. The store was warmly welcomed, affirming the company's decision to venture into the discount store market. Throughout the late 60s and early 70s, Target expanded its operations across the country, opening stores in St. Louis, Dallas, Houston, and Denver. These strides were marked by a merger with J.L. Hudson Company, making Dayton Hudson Corporation one of the 15 largest non-food retailers in the nation. As the company expanded, so did its services. The first Super Target store, offering one-stop shopping with a grocery section, opened in Omaha, Nebraska, in 1995. The company further enriched the shopping experience by introducing in-house brands, ensuring that high-quality products were accessible to customers at reasonable prices. From a small dry goods store to the second-largest department store retailer in the U.S., Dayton's vision had become a reality. But the journey didn't stop there. Even today, Target is committed to evolving with the times, focusing on digital growth, and continually enhancing the shopping experience for its customers. It remains a beacon of innovation, leadership, and community involvement. Target's legacy, founded by George Dayton, serves as a beacon for the young minds at Global Elites Network, a platform that seeks to foster creativity, critical thinking, leadership, and entrepreneurial acumen among children. It stands as a testament to the transformative power of vision, perseverance, and courage, inspiring the leaders of tomorrow to dream big, work hard, and never cease to innovate. In every store, every barcode scan, every customer's smile lies the spirit of George Dayton. His story is an everlasting legacy, reminding us that no goal is too lofty, no dream too big, and no vision too far-fetched for those willing to strive. As Dayton once transformed the retail landscape, so can the young minds of today shape the world of tomorrow. Thus, the tale of Target stands, not just as a chronicle of a successful enterprise, but as a blueprint for youngsters worldwide. 
It motivates them to dream, strive, innovate, and lead, propelling them towards the paths they are destined to carve, towards a future only they can shape. In the end, the story of George Dayton and Target is not just about building a successful company. It's about inspiring young minds to see the target, hit the bullseye, and make a mark on the world. After all, every target hit is a dream achieved. Top 10 Questions for Further Analysis 1. What are the key lessons from George Dayton's entrepreneurial journey that can be applied to your business today? 2. How did Dayton's commitment to serving the needs of budget-friendly shoppers revolutionize the retail industry, and how can your business cater to a similar need in your market? 3. What strategies did Target employ to differentiate itself in a competitive market and how can your business create a unique value proposition? 4. In what ways did Target's merger with JL Hudson Company strengthen their market position and what potential partnerships or mergers could benefit your business? 5. How did Target's shift towards digital growth and continual enhancement of the customer shopping experience contribute to their success? How can your business harness technology to enhance customer experience? 6. What role did in-house branding play in Target's success and how could your business benefit from developing its own exclusive products or services? 7. How did Dayton's vision and leadership shape the culture and direction of Target, and what vision do you have for your own company's culture and growth? 8. How has Target's commitment to community involvement and corporate social responsibility influenced their brand image, and what initiatives could your company undertake to give back to the community? 9. How did Target manage risks and challenges throughout its expansion, and what strategies can your business employ to mitigate risks during growth? 10. In what ways has Target adapted to changing market trends and consumer demands over time, and how can your company remain agile and responsive to shifts in your industry? That concludes version 1.0, our teaser. If you've enjoyed this and would like to delve into the complete business case study, version 2.0, we invite you to subscribe to our at mba.casestudy channel at either https colon slash slash courseware.mba or https colon slash slash case study.mba. Once there, you'll be able to access and read the full version 2.0 case study. Every day, Maverick will publish several videos containing the comprehensive version 2.0 of the MBA case study channel. We encourage you to share your thoughts on any MBA case study video that piques your interest. Your input could be valuable for others in our community, so please don't hesitate to leave a comment.